a welcome to solve this nice square root math problem, which is the square root of x times square root of x times square root of x plus square root of x, this is equal to 10. So what is the value of x? Now let's provide a solution from here. So we have that the square root of x multiplied by square root of x multiplied by square root of x plus square root of x, this is equal to 10. We can let square root of x be equal to u. So that now we have u times u times u plus u, this is equal to 10. So we have u times u times u, this is u to the power of 3. 10 plus u. Let's take 10 on the left hand side. So minus 10. This is equal to 0. Now we have u to the power of 3 plus u minus 10, which is minus 8 minus 2. This is equal to 0. Now we have u to the power of 3 plus u minus 8, which is 2 to the power of 3, minus 2, this is equal to 0. So we have u to the power of 3 and 2 to the power of 3, so we have u to the power of 3, minus 2 to the power of 3, plus u, minus 2, this is equal to 0. So we have two parts here. This is the first part, and this is the second part. From the first part here, u to the power of 3 minus 2 to the power of 3. This is in the form of a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3, which we can express as a minus b. Then we have a squared plus ab plus b to the power of 2. So we have u to the power of 3 minus 2 to the power of 3. This is the same thing as u minus 2. Here we have u squared plus 2u plus 2 squared which is 4. And in this case, here we have u minus 2 multiplying by u squared plus 2u plus 4 then plus u minus 2 this is equal to 0. So we have that. So we have u minus 2 is common here. We can factor out u minus 2. So that now into the parentheses here, we have u squared plus 2u plus 4 plus 1. This is equal to 0. So we have two parts here. We have u minus 2 multiplied by u squared plus 2u. 4 plus 1, this is 5. This is equal to 0. We have two parts here. That is u minus 2. This is equal to 0. And we have u squared plus 2u plus 5. This is equal to 0. So we have that u1 is equal to 2. So now the second part here is a quadratic equation of the form a u squared plus b u plus c. This is equal to 0. From this quadratic equation, we have a is equal to 1, b is equal to 2, and c is equal to 5. So we can solve for u2, comma, u3 by applying the quadratic formula, which is minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac. Everything here divided by 2 times a. So let's substitute the values of a, b, and c from here. So we have minus 2 plus or minus the square root of b squared is 2 squared 
minus 4 times a which is 1 times c which is 5 everything here divided by 2 times 1 So we have minus 2 plus or minus the square root of 2 squared. This is 4. We have 5 times 4 here. This is minus 20. Everything here divided by 2. So we have minus 2 plus or minus. We have the square root of 4 minus 20. This is minus 16. Everything here divided by 2. We can express the square root of minus 16. This is the same thing as minus 2 plus or minus the square root of 16 times minus 1 divided by 2. Now here we have minus 2 plus or minus the square root of 16. This is 4. Square root of minus 1. This is i. Everything here divided by 2. Now we have that in the numerator here. 2 is common. So we have 2 into the parentheses. This is minus 1 plus or minus 2i. Everything here divided by 2. So we can simplify 2 and 2 here. So that we have minus 1 plus or minus 2i. So we have u2 comma u3 this is equal to minus 1 plus or minus 2i now if you recall if you recall we are saying let u be equal to square root of x substituting we have u1 which is equal to which is equal to 2 so substituting 2 here then we have square root of x. This is equal to 2. Let's square both signs from here. So that now, here we have x1 is equal to 2 squared, which is 4. Then we have the square root of x. This is equal to minus 1 plus or minus 2i. Then let's square both signs from here. So that now we eliminate the square root sign here. So that we have x is equal to minus 1 plus or minus 2i raised to the power of 2. So minus 1 plus or minus 2i to the power of 2. This is in the form of a plus b raised to the power of 2 which we can express as a squared plus b squared plus 2ab. Applying this identity, then we have x equal to minus 1 squared plus 2i squared plus or minus 2 times 1 times 2i. So minus 1 squared, this is 1, then plus 2 squared, this is 4, times i squared, plus or minus 2 times 2i, this is 4i. i squared, this is minus 1. Let's substitute minus 1 here, so that we have x is equal to 1 plus 4, multiplying by minus 1 plus or minus 4i. So x here is equal to 1 minus 4 plus or minus 4i. So we have that x2 comma x3. This is equal to 1 minus 4. This is minus 3 plus or minus 4i. So we have that x2, comma x3, this is equal to minus 3 plus or minus 4i. So these are two complex solutions. These are two complex solutions. And we only have one 
real solution here that is x1 which is equal to 4. Now the next step is to verify here so let's verify we entered the square root of x times square root of x times square root of x plus square root of x this is supposed to give us a value of 10 so we have the square root of 4 times square root of 4 times square root of 4 plus square root of 4 this is supposed to give us a value of 10 square root of 4 this is 2 times 2 times 2 plus 2 here this is supposed to give us a value of 10 so 2 times 2 times 2 this is 8 plus 2 this should give us a value of 10 8 plus 2 this is 10 which is equal to 10 and this implies that the left hand side is equal to the right hand side and this verifies that x1 satisfies the equation so we have three solutions here two complex solutions and only one real solution so thank you for watching kindly follow the steps like this video and subscribe